To answer this question, let's draw a nice big PV diagram. Here's P, here's V, here's initial state I, and here's our final state F. Path 1 consists of an isothermal expansion, an adiabatic expansion, and then another isothermal expansion. Okay, probably not the best drawing. This one's isothermal, so isothermal tells us that the change in internal energy is equal to zero. And we're told in the question that the work done is 40 joules in magnitude. It's expansion, so that's minus 40 joules. Along the second point part, we're told that this is adiabatic, which means Q is equal to zero. And we're told that the work done, again, it's going to be negative, is 20 joules, so minus 20 joules. This third part is again isothermal, so no change in internal energy. And the work done, we're told, is 30 joules, and that will be negative as it's an expansion. Path two consists of a pressure reduction at constant volume, and then a volume increase at constant pressure. So this is path two, and here's our path one. And we're asked to find the change in internal energy. Well, since the change in internal energy doesn't matter if we use path 1 or path 2, let's use path 1. We've got the internal energy from for this step and for this final step here. We can get it easily for this step using our first law of thermodynamics. The change in internal energy is just the Q plus the W, which is equal to minus 20 joules in this case. So the total change in internal energy is 0 plus minus 20 joules plus 0. So that just gives us minus 20 joules as our final answer to that question.